Hey guys, I'm just bringing you another tutorial here, and this one is going to be on how to use Emrec with OBS. Now, this is assuming you've already uh, learned how to use OBS from either my first tutorial or you didn't need help with it, you just need to get Emrec working with OBS. So, first things first, we need to download it, and it's actually a, like, the, the newest version, 2014 version there the previous versions is like it's like 2.3 um but the problem with that one is that it has a like an audio issue where it will uh like change pitches and stuff so this is like the weird japanese like whatever but this is the best one so you want to get this one and the link's right here or i'll have it in the description as well so after you download that you will get this guy so we have uh, yeah, this is how you start the application, obviously, and also we're going to need to look at this in a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the application, which is this this one, so it's not confusing. All right, so I got my application here, and it's already, like, rolling here with the game. Um, yeah, I can play the sound. Actually, I can't because I have to here. So we'll, we'll go in and look at the settings. So basically, uh, everything's going to happen on graph one and and graph three basically uh so we have here you have to choose your capture device i can choose from my hd capture card or my dazzle here and then i have to choose the input and i wouldn't worry about aux or tuner composite and s video in this case for for this device is the main two that you'd look at um and then for audio dazzle dc 100 same thing is this but it'll depend on your device again some devices are weird and like audio has to be taken through like other ways or something you know but it's not too hard um yeah so audio this and and audio for mrec is a nice thing because a lot of people have problems with dazzles and obs trying to get audio into obs mrec cuts out that that problem uh but yeah so if you apply that stuff we can move on to graph two here. Uh, we have to do stuff in graph two, actually. Uh, four by three aspect ratio. Very important for a game that's going to be four by three. If you don't do this, if you have it, it's normally on not a point. You can see that stretch the image a little bit. You don't want that. That is bad. So you want four by three. And sometimes, if you start your stream and you notice that it just doesn't, it's not fitting correctly in your in your obs layout. It's probably because it went back to not a point or something or like fixed window or something. And it, sometimes it does that and I don't know why. So just go back here and change it to four by three. All right, next thing, uh, deinterlacing. Deinterlacing is, for people who don't know, is this. So it, you can see, let me see. You can see here the, it's got like lines through it. I mean, this is very severe, but it gives you an idea um, of what it looks like. It, it it's usually it doesn't look this severe, but this is basically what it does. It has lines and kind of has like a little bit of a blur to it. And then once you interlace it, it should look clean. So, um, you just, here you can have auto select for top or down, and then usually just retro game because retro game, but also any of these really work. Any of these three will work fine. And then you can crop in here instead of OBS, but I already taught in my last tutorial how cropping OBS is just use, you just use alt and then drag, so it's really easy, so it's not too big of a deal. And then we have three, which is uh, allows you to uh, go live on OBS. This is the thing that most people don't understand you need to do. And I sometimes forget I need to do if I'm resetting up everything on like a different computer or something. Uh, so basically, you need to do uh, check the live enabled here. And this allows you to uh, output your direct video from MREC to OBS instead of doing a window capture, which is bad. So, uh, you can't automatically enable this. When you do, it'll yell at you. So what you need to do is you need to go to live setup and, and go through this quick setup. It's just um, like a separate little thing that it adds that you can do the, uh, the dry capture with OBS. So, once you have it enabled, uh, the 
frame rate should be fine. I mean, as long as like this game's 30 FPS, most games are 30 FPS. If you're playing on a, if it's a Super Nintendo game, it's probably 60 FPS. All right. Uh, and then this is very, very important because if you want the best possible quality, you need to make this the same resolution that you're using here. And I didn't actually go over this earlier, but basically there's a lot of different resolutions. And I mean, you might as well choose the highest resolution that doesn't uh, sacrifice any FPS. So in this case, 720 by 480. 29.97 FPS, which is, that's normal NTSC uh, frame rate. And then you want to put the same thing here. For some reason, it comes up with a lower number, which means that it not only distorts your image, it's also just taking like a lower resolution. And so it doesn't look as good. And I actually had it like that for a long time. And when I realized I was like, my mind was blown. I was like, oh my gosh, like that's, I can't believe it was like that this whole time. And then, like, Stivity Bobo also does the same thing. Pretty much everyone that I told, like, I was, everyone that was on stream that saw it was like, oh, yeah, I was also not on this. So I don't think, like, hardly any people are doing this, which is kind of sad because it looks better. Um, so, yeah, use the, like, exact resolution so it doesn't resize your window at all when it puts it into OBS. All right. And, yeah, that's basically it. Now, another thing you can do is you can set up recording um, you can use like their video codec or you can set up a different video codec and then uh, what this does is it makes a recording of just this game and the audio so that it doesn't have all of your stream stuff in it which is great for like world record uh, recordings and then hotkeys if you want to set up hotkeys for starting the recording which I have and then also uh, I should probably do this because I haven't done this for 3.1 Whenever you use Shift and S for some reason, it uh, takes a screenshot or Control S. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. We don't we don't need that. We'll, we'll disable that. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, just just disable the screenshot ones because that's incredibly annoying because it happens all the time. Um, it looks like these two as well. But yeah, you can just mess around with your hotkeys and all that jazz. But moving on. So we have our game here, and the audio is now working. And I am now going to open up OBS, and we will put it in OBS. Most of the hard work lifting is like pretty much already done. So, all right. So we have this. I'm going to go ahead and add a new scene. Preview that. All right. So we're going to right click on sources. We're going to add a video capture device. We'll call this M uh, Rec TV. I spelled it wrong, but I don't care. And now we're just going to choose M Rec Video Capture as our source. And then resolution should automatically just stick with what you have, which is going to be what we already talked about before with that FPS, which we already talked about. And then, uh, this is a kind of interesting tidbit here. Um, you don't want to use audio input device here because it's already outputting to your desktop. So there's no reason to, uh, to have it come through here as well. Which normally you'd have to do this if you're using just a Dazzle and you weren't using MREC. But yeah, so we have this. And I'm noticing, uh, you'll notice sometimes that your video will shake. And, uh... I, I wonder if I can get it to... It's shaking on my preview window, but not on... Oh, yeah, it is shaking a bit. Okay, so what does that mean when you're shaking? It means that it's not liking your deinterlace. That's what it means. And the, the people always wonder about that. And there's, uh, you know, it's like, why is my video shaking? I remember it, it used to happen to me all the time. I get so frustrated. But we just have to take a look at our deinterlacing settings quick. So we're going to go ahead and change this to... Uh, this. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. No more no more shaking on the preview window or that window. So yeah, I mean you can mess around with deinterlacing a bit. It's very important to deinterlace, so you should definitely do that. Just mess around with it. Make sure it doesn't shake. Cause 
last thing you want is your video shaking all the time. And the scary thing is, is like lots of times people would just leave these settings the way they are for months at a time after they set it up, because there's no reason to go back, so. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, just make sure you set up right the first time. I hope this video helped you out. Well, also, you know, you can crop this video, like I was saying, using a holding alt and then re resizing the window by dragging. And that way you can get the clean fit. Boom. There you go. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Uh, I'm pretty sure I covered everything I needed to cover for, uh, how to set up MREC, make it look as good as possible. You can also change the, uh, colors and, like, hue and stuff like that, or the lighting, but that's not really technically through MREC, that's just, a that's a feature through, uh, the Dazzle, but most video cards have it. But you can find that feature by going to device settings, either in OBS or in MREC. But, yep. Thanks for uh, watching, and I'll see you guys next time.